In this video, I'm going to talk about push notification within Power Platform. Specifically, I'm going to talk about Power Automate. Now, what is push notification? A push notification is an alert generated by an application when the application is not open, notifying user of new messages or updates or new post. As you see on the right hand side of the screen, this is an example of a push notification. Now, what does this message indicates is that it is coming from uh, a source. Uh, it is hitting a power apps and then it is giving you some message. Now the message can be customized and push notification is only applicable for mobile or tablet devices. It is not applicable for a web view. Push notification is different from in-app notification. As you see over here, this part, this is a model driven app, model driven power app. And within model driven power app, you have something called as in app notification. So if you are inside an app, inside a model driven app, you may get some sort of notification. Now this notification is different from the push notification. The difference is in the push notification, you get the notification only on your mobile devices. Now here in model driven app, you can be in the web view and you can still get that notification. For a push notification, you need not open the app. It will automatically get this notification uh, uh, put in into the mobile device. Here, you need to open the app to view the notification. Similarly, on in Power Apps Canvas apps, here you get a notification banner. Uh, there is a function called as notify. Using notify, you can specify some sort of a notification, a custom message like an error, warning, information, and you can display that on the top bar. So this is different. Notification banner is different than in-app notification than push notification. So in this video, I'm going to talk about push notification first, just push notification, and on the context of a power automate. <clears throat> Push notification Power Apps in the context of Power Automate. So send push notification V2 is a connector. It allows you to send notification to Power Apps. You can specify different category of the app on which this push notification needs to be sent. So it can be sent to a Power Apps. It can be sent to a field service app and sales app. Now, why I mentioned V2 is like there are two connectors. One is send push notification, which I'll refer it as V1 and send push notification V2 connector. The older connection connector is a classic connector and this one is a modern one. Both are operational in the current moment. With this, you can send a notification to Canvas or model driven app. There is an ability to send select multiple recipients. So how this works is if you have a message to be sent to the devices, you can specify the user Say, so take for example, I want to send a message to say Tom, John, and Jill. I can selectively specify these users and I can send the push notification. Now, uh, it, the, this connections, this connector basically has an ability to open the app post clicking of push notification. So there can be an action item. So if you receive a push notification and if you click on the push notification, multiple things can happen. One is like nothing can happen. It's just like you select the push notification and that's it. In another case, you can have a push notification. When you click on the push notification, you will be redirected to the corresponding Canvas app or model driven app or within a model driven app, you can be directed to a specific list view or a specific form or a specific record. So all this can be customized. So you have an ability to open table form or table view. It has an ability to open exact record on the form as well. And for Canvas app, you can pass key value parameters. You can set a push notification from one app to another app or to the same app as well. So what is the use case or what is the purpose of using push notification? Now, your users need to know some information immediately. Then yes, you can use push notification. Your user must complete important task by using your app with some context. So if there is any pending task, yes, you can use push notification and notify the user about some outstanding activities or task related to that specific user. You want to engage your users on a specific interval. So you can send push notifications, say hourly or monthly or fortnightly. You can schedule that. 
you need users to enter the app in a specific context. Say you might have uh, seen like uh, some banking app, like say if you receive a money within your app, then you receive a message that, hey, there is some incoming uh, money or a salary has been credited to your, uh, say, X bank account. So like that, you can, if you click on that push notification, then you will be actually opening that app and you will be opening your savings or current account, whatever is selected from the bank merchant. Now, when a new app version is launched or released, so if there is any new activity or new app version being launched by the organization or company, then you get those push notification. Sometimes there is a reminder to the users to complete some activities. Critical notification, if there are any updates, if there are any app maintenance happening, then you get that notification. Uh, there are some offers, like say, there are various ride share company which sends you those coupons, like 15% off, 20% off as a uh, matter of marketing. So that can be uh, utilized for push notification. Invitation to flash sale, if there is any flash sale coming up, either uh, a Black Friday or Christmas sale, or maybe end of financial year sale. So for all those purposes, you can use push notification. There are two connectors, V1 and V2 connectors for push notification. Now I'm in the context of Power Apps, Canvas app. If I select a data source, I get two options. Power Apps Notification, Power Apps Notification V2. On the right hand side, you will see same connector using Power Automate. So this is on the right hand side, this is a Power Automate screen and you will see those send push notification V2 and send push notification. So both are uh, uh, does the same thing, but with some difference. Uh, in terms of parameters. So the difference between V1 and V2, if you closely watch, uh, let's try to compare one by one. What, what is the difference? So in push notification, you specify an array of users to which you want need to send the notification. So yes, I can select this user. So there is an option for recipient. Here also you have an option for recipient. You can add new recipient. You can add number of users who we, to whom you need to send that notification. Then there is a message. So here there is some text which you need to put in to see in the application. Here also there is a message for V2. There is an option to open the app. If you want, if someone clicks on that notification, the app should be opened. Yes, that can be done. Here also it can be done. There are parameters, key value parameter to pass with the notification. Yes, you can do it in V1 and V2 as well. Now, the only difference what I see over here in V2, you, you can target, you can specify which mobile app you need to open, like whether it's a power apps or a sales app or a field service app. So you can directly target which application you need to open. And remember, this is for Canvas and model driven app, both. Also, uh, your app selection so here you see you actually specify which app should receive that push notification so you explicitly specify over here now in this connector the v1 connector there is no place to specify which app to send this notification to so this is done when you actually make that connection request so if you go into the connection of that specific power apps notification or if you are in the context of power apps before you add this connection it will ask you for the target application ID. So what you need to do, you need to open the Canvas app, get the application ID just by going into the details page and specify that ID against that connection. So that's an old way of implementing the push notification. But in the modern way, you explicitly specify which application and which target mobile app. So the, then now I'm comparing send push notification V2, send push notification V2, but now both are V2 connections, but then one is for the Canvas app. So I've selected a Canvas app over here and here I've selected, selected model driven app. The difference if you see over here, now both has recipient, so you can specify multiple recipient, you can specify message, you can specify open app, that's a action item. You can specify parameters in Canvas app, However, you can't specify any specific parameter in model driven app. However, you have an ability to select which entity to open or which table to open or which form against that specific entity or table to open. And if you leave this blank, 
it clearly says if you leave this blank you will be directed to the views if you specify a record id then it will exactly open that specific account pointing to that record geo id so there is an option in model driven app to exactly open a record for a specific table so if i select a record id of say jonathan uh, organization then it will open corresponding account so i can even select entity as contacts and then i can select say john uh, as a record and then i can display that so that's the difference between canvas and model driven app for send push notification v2 now what happens when you actually execute it the on the right hand side you will see my mobile app now here we have actually sent that push notification right and similarly i have sent that push notification for the model driven app as well okay so this is how that push notification looks like so let's jump into the demo quickly so let me go into power automate and then what I'll, i'm going to show you is like i have this app this is a simple canvas app it's called as tom and jerry app let me publish this app okay now this app is published in the uh, power apps now i have this model driven app which is a world app which is again a simple model driven app so i'll try to use both this application in power automate now for power automate what i'm going to do i'll go to new flow and i'll click on instant cloud flow and call it as push notification april 2024 and i'll select a manual trigger flow now remember you can schedule it you can automate it but just for the demonstration purpose i'm just gonna uh, use a manual trigger i'm gonna select the old designer and here what i'm gonna do first i'm gonna search for notification so power app notification once I do that, I will be presented with uh, various notifications over here. And here there is send push notification V2. And then there is a send push notification V1. So let's pick up V1 first. Okay. So send push notification V1. And here it is asking me for the connection name and target application URL. Okay. Now I'll just keep it aside for time being. And then I'm going to show you send or maybe push notification v2 now here it will create a connection first for the v2 connector okay so this one is a v1 connection and this one is a v2 so i'm going to remove the v1 connection because my focus is mainly around v2 connection because i'm going to demonstrate you both the canvas app and the model driven app now here uh, I've selected V2 connection. Now here I need to specify which mobile app. Okay, for me it is a power apps. Okay, and the app, which app? So here once it loads, I will just type in Tom and Jerry app. So it has selected Tom and Jerry app and recipient. Recipient I'll just say Girish dot Google at okay, MLK dot on Microsoft dot com. Okay, and I'm not going to put anything on the message and open app. Let me show you the mobile screen over here. Let me open the power apps and show it to you, show you both the app, both the applications over here. So there is a Tom and Jerry app. So which I'm going to open Tom and Jerry app. Uh, this app has received a new, uh, new notification of app availability. So this is how the app looks like. So all good. I'm going to close this and I'm going to open world app. Now here in world app, this is how the world app looks like. So just wanted to show you how this both the application looks like. So I'll just say close world app. Yes, close world app. Okay. So I have, uh, I've shown you both the applications over here. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to write an actually a message. So message for say Tom and Jerry. Hello, Girish. Tom and Jerry is excited to welcome you. <clears throat> so this is one message. What I want to do, I want to open an app if someone clicks on it. Okay. Now I'm going to just save this. Now in my power apps, I haven't opened any application as you just saw. 
I'm just saving this notification. This is Power Send Push Notification V2. We are targeting Canvas app for Power Apps. Now I've just saved it. Let me test this. So if I click on test manually and I'll click on test and let it send that notification. So it will ask me to sign in. So I'll just sign in and I'll say run the flow. Now quickly, I'm going to jump into my mobile application and see what happens. How do I receive that notification? Now, if you see here, I have received this notification. It says, hello, Girish, Tom and Jerry is excited to welcome you. Okay, all good. So then what I can do is I can see this notification. I'll go inside it. I've just clicked it. So it will open the application and this is how you open the Canvas application, right? So this is one example of opening a Canvas application. Now, so we have demonstrated that. Now let me delete this. And now let me add another notification, push notification. Again, we'll pick V2, but this time for mobile app, we will pick up Power Apps. We also picked Power App last time, but for the application, I'm going to select model driven app. So this is the world app is a model driven app. The recipient name again, Girish dot people at And message, uh, welcome to World App. Exciting time of the year for all of us. So this is some custom message. Now what I want, I want the app to be opened. Okay, yes. Which entity uh, I need to open? Maybe I'll just say I want to open, say, World App. Uh, entity which is a world table and here i can pick up any say record so take for example i picked up canada now here if you see the record details if i just copy this url then i can see this id okay so i'll just copy this id of say this record canada now what i'm going to do i'm going to go into the flow i'll say i want to open a view which is a g world form view and i want to open this record id so i'm just pasting this so what i've done i put a custom message i said open the app when this notification is received entity is the world table pick up any form you want and the record id is this so what i want is when you click on that notification then you should open this record Okay, it should not open the view record, it should not open any other record, it should just open a Canada record. If you want to open Australia record, what you can do, you can just go into the URL and then copy the ID of that specific record. But I'm opening Canada record as of now. So let me save this. And if everything is configured correctly, then you should receive a notification. So let me go into my mobile app and show it to you. This is how the mobile app looks like uh, for Power Apps. Now, let me test this. Test and run the flow. Go into the application. Now, nothing is open. Now, as you see over here, this notification has come for the model driven app. So, if I expand this, it says World App. Welcome to World App, an exciting time of the year for all of us. And now, if I click on this, it should open a model driven app, which is a World App and it should specifically open a record which is canada and it has done that so you can direct you can say what you want to view say if you just want to view say some record then you can even do that as well so what i can do is like if i don't want to show uh, say some form i just want to show uh, say just the first view okay and i don't want to show the record and i'll just say uh, just record listing i'm just modifying the message okay open app yes entities yes and i've selected some form and this time i don't want to uh, navigate to the record so then what i can do i'll just save this and let me close the application so i'll just i'm just outside i'll just close the app i'm in the power apps interface click on test click on manual click on test and run the flow go into the application and you have received this notification it says just record listing welcome to world app 
click on this I'm just clicking and then it should open the listing view rather than going into the Canada record so it has opened this view and this is what I wanted right so this is how uh, you can send a notification to power automate so this is how uh, basically you use push notification in the context of Microsoft Power Automate. Thanks for watching.